Strategic Lateral Offset Procedure, or SLOP, improves airspace safety. It increases the lateral separation between aircraft by introducing a randomness in aircraft lateral position with respect to root centerline. States must authorize the use of SLOP in their Aeronautical Information Publication, or AIP. Aircraft operators and flight crews should verify with the state's AIP to determine whether SLOP is authorized. Flight crews operating aircraft with automatic offset tracking capability can select lateral offsets as an option. The execution of SLOP is always to the right of root centerline and never to the left of root centerline. Offsets to the left of centerline are prohibited. Avoid using heading mode to offset. Strategic lateral offsets are authorized to include centerline and up to two nautical miles right of centerline. The SLOP options available to an aircrew depend on the capability of the aircraft. For aircraft capable of offsets in one nautical mile increments, the choices are centerline, one nautical mile right, or two nautical miles right. For aircraft capable of offsets in tenths of a nautical mile, the choices are centerline and any other increment up to two nautical miles right. For the correct application of slot procedures, consult the local AIP and or chart supplements for the airspace which you will be traversing. One of the main reasons for the recommended use of SLOP is the high degree of current navigation system accuracy. Over the years, the increased use of global navigation satellite systems have significantly increased aircraft lateral path keeping accuracy. Flight crews should make the choice in SLOP option, which includes centerline or right offset up to two nautical miles randomly. The random selection increases the likelihood of lateral separation from other aircraft. The correct application of SLOP helps mitigate the effect of operational risk. Operational risk occurs with non-normal events such as navigation errors, height deviation errors, and turbulence-induced altitude keeping errors. When an operational error occurs, the likelihood that another aircraft is at the same cross-track position is reduced with SLOP. SLOP also allows aircraft to avoid wake turbulence. The correct application of SLOP can increase the measured level of safety by 80%. The rules associated with the proper application of SLOP are 1. Air traffic control or ATC clearance is not required, and it is not necessary that ATC be advised. 2. Slop options, including centerline and up to two nautical miles right of centerline, should be randomly chosen during flight within remote and oceanic airspace no matter the routing. For example, whether organized track, random track, user preferred route, or published airway, the slop option should be randomly chosen whenever it is authorized. The choice in the slop option can be dynamic throughout operations depending on surrounding traffic and wake turbulence considerations. Three. Options include root center line or offset to the right of root center line. There are three choices, either center line, one nautical mile right, or two nautical miles right. Or if equipped, there are 21 choices, either center line, a tenth nautical mile right, two tenths nautical miles right, etc., up to two nautical miles right of center line. Four, offsets to the left of root center line are prohibited. Avoid using heading mode to offset. Choice of centerline or offset up to two nautical miles right must be randomly selected on every flight by the flight crew. Do not choose the same option on every flight. In summary, the correct use of slop adds an additional layer of safety while mitigating the risk of collision when non-normal events occur and providing a means to avoid wake turbulence.